It has already been getting cold in Atlanta. Just the other day, it was like 46 degrees. Like how? Didn't it just turn fall? How is it already cold? We definitely have to do a fall faves today. I'm gonna start with skincare because you know your girl is a skincare junkie now. So let's start off with this Anua Heartleaf Oil Cleanser. I like to double cleanse, so I'll go in with my Anua Pore Control Cleansing Oil first before I even wash my face with my regular cleanser. And this is bomb. Like I can literally feel the oil coming out of my pores when I use this. I like to go in and really like rub around my pores with this oil because I feel like it attracts the dirt and debris out of my pores. So I like to do this for a few minutes and then I'll rinse it off with warm water. But this is super bomb. I'm gonna link this on my Amazon storefront. Next up, I have the Anua Heartleaf Tone toner and I love this. This is a gentle soothing toner. It is very light in texture but I love layering my toners and I love using this first. I will link my updated skincare routine above so you can check me using these products so you just don't have to take my word for it but I love this. As you can see I've used more than half of the bottle. I'm obsessed with it. It's really good. It is a soothing toner. If you're looking for something that's hydrating but for sensitive skin, this is your guy right here. Okay, so next up we have another toner. This is the Aquel Licorice Toner and I love this one as well. This one I feel like helps with any active acne that I have on the skin. So my first toner is a soothing one and this one is perfect for my acne prone skin. I have used up about three fourths of this bottle so I will need to repurchase soon. I will link this on my Amazon storefront as well. For Essence, I have been loving this Mix Soon Bean Essence. Essence. It has that same consistency and viscosity as the Snell Mucin, but I personally cannot use the Snell Mucin by Cause RX because it breaks me out. So if you have that issue too, where you've not been able to use the Cause RX Snell Mucin that everyone loves, I highly recommend checking out the Bean Essence because it is a vegan formula. The consistency of this exclusively comes from the bean portion of this essence, which I think is really bomb and I love the way that this makes my skin look so dewy, so refreshed. I highly recommend checking this out y'all. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with Korean skincare as of late, but this is the Torden Dive In Serum. And do you see, I literally have only like a few drops of this left. That's how much I love this stuff. This has replaced my Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which I loved. This one is a little more expensive, but I feel like it really penetrates my skin. It leaves it nice and hydrated and it's ranked number one in Korea so many times because it is just that serum okay so if you've been on the hunt for a good hyaluronic acid serum that's going to be hydrating for your skin that's not going to irritate your skin this baby right here is definitely going to do that for you I've been obsessed with two moisturizers as of late the first one is the glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer and it is very moisturizing on the skin it leaves my skin glowy but it's not too hydrating it's like more of a water gel consistency that's the type of consistency I like with my moisturizers I don't like a thick cream I prefer something more lightweight because I have combination skin and I've also been loving this red bean water gel this one is just a very simple moisturizer I like to use this on a daily basis if I'm going to be using SPF and I prefer using the glow recipe one at nighttime. This is my last skincare item and then we're gonna get into my makeup phase. I have been loving these eye patches from Patchology. I got these from Ulta. This is the Flash Pass Rejuvenating Eye Gels and it does have caffeine, hyaluronic acid, and collagen in it and 
I like using this when I'm doing my makeup. I'm gonna do my brows and my eyes first. I will pop these underneath my eyes. It is like a gel under eye mask. So it feels very cooling. It gets my eyes nice and prepped for makeup. If I feel like I didn't get enough sleep the night before, this definitely helps me look like I'm more well rested than I am. So let's get into the makeup products that I've been loving. First up, we have this got to be. This is for the brows and edges. If you're having issues with the edges of your hair, you can simply like use it just to like control the edges of your like hair if you have any like flyaways or anything like that. And you can also use it to tame your brow hairs. So I think this product is super bomb for both y'all. For foundation, this should be no surprise. I have been loving the new MAC Studio Radiance Foundation. I did a demo of this. I will link a card up top for y'all so you could check it out if you missed that video. But I got it in the shade NW45. And when I tell you this foundation looks like skin, it looks like freaking skin. It looks so good. And I get so many compliments when I wear it. it does does not look like you're wearing a lot of makeup, but it leaves your skin looking so fresh and flawless, and I love it. Definitely recommend that y'all check this out. I haven't used a MAC foundation in so long until I tried this one. So this one got me back into MAC foundation. So yeah, highly recommend this one. It has a lot of good skincare ingredients in it as well, which is one of the main reasons why I picked it up because y'all know I've been so into skincare. I want to make sure that my skin comes first before makeup so yeah this foundation is bomb for bronzer I have been using the NARS Laguna 05 bronzing cream this is what it looks like this is what I'm wearing as a contour today it just snatches my cheeks in it does have a smell I only recently noticed that this bronzer does have a perfume smell to it but it's not overpowering it's a pleasant smell and it doesn't break me out I love the color of this foundation it isn't a warm cream bronzer it's more of like a neutral shade I feel like it really helps to contour my face as well I can get a little bronzing and contour in at the same time for concealer I have been loving this one from it cosmetics this is the bye bye dark spots concealer and serum now this does have niacinamide in it but it hasn't broke me out I love that it has skincare ingredients in it because I like using this to spot treat any areas that I need a little extra coverage that I don't want to go in and add a second layer of foundation. I'll just go in and just pat it on that area. And not only does it help to blur the imperfection that I have on my skin, but it also helps to get rid of it because of the skincare ingredients inside of it. It has niacinamide, it has caffeine, and it also has hyaluronic acid. So super bomb. For my under eyes, this combination is fire. If you want your under dry area to look snatched to look brightened I got you sis look first you need the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder I love this for baking under my eyes I use the shade number two it is like a peachy toned powder it's perfect if you're of a deeper complexion and you're looking for something to set your face and brighten just a little bit without having your under eyes looking ashy because if you use something too bright too soon it can make those under eyes look more ashy than brightened so I like using this first y'all and then this is something new that I have been loving as of late this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch I don't use too many Huda Beauty products but this one caught my eye and I love this this is a pressed powder and it is in the shade Kanafa. I hope I'm saying that right but this is the darker yellow tone powder and I use this to literally snatch underneath my eyes. When I tell you under your eyes it's gonna look brightened, it's gonna look snatch, it's gonna look blurred. Yeah baby that's what I have under my eyes right now. If anything get you one of these baby. I'm gonna link it down below. Make sure you pick this one up because it's that good. It has already been 
getting cold in Atlanta. Just the other day, it was like 46 degrees. Like how? Didn't it just turn fall? How is it already cold? Anyways, my lips have been putting me through the ringer. I have been using the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is my first time talking about this. I love this product so much, which is why I always share it. It's literally only like nine bucks per bottle. I always have several on hand. You need one of these, okay? Ulta, don't ever discontinue this, please, because so many of my favorite brands discontinue my favorite products, and I'm just like, why? Why are you discontinuing my favorite products? For my all over setting powder, I've been using this pressed powder from Makeup Forever. I love the packaging of this, like this nude packaging is so pretty. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Foundation and mine is in the shade 4Y70. This is my perfect shade right now coming out of summertime, but I will probably need a different shade for winter. I've been loving this as of late. I used it to set my foundation today and it just keeps my makeup on all day y'all. For mascara, I have been loving this one from MAC. This is the Extended Play Gig Up Black Lash. I'm using it on my bottom lashes today. I use this on my top lashes as well, but I exclusively love this for my bottom lashes. It really gets in there and it lengthens them and it makes them look dark. And it's because this brush is so small, it's very easy to get into those little lashes. For my lips, I have been loving this lip liner from Makeup Forever. I don't know why I just picked this up for the first time like a month or two ago because this is that liner right there. Like I'm mad y'all haven't told me about this liner. Y'all should have been told me about this, okay? This is the Makeup Forever Limitless Brown Liner. The color of it is just perfect for outlining and contouring your lips without it being too dark or too light. It's like the perfect color for me. If you're of a deeper complexion, like brown skin to dark skin, you're going to love this lip liner. Of course, you can use this if you're a deeper complexion, but if you're looking for something for like a nude lip vibe, this is the perfect liner for that. Now, if you're going for like a dark chocolate lip and you're of a lighter complexion, this is definitely gonna do it for you. Urban Decay came out with a new eyeshadow palette and it was based off of their Space Cowboy eyeshadow glitter. And so they came out with four different shades. These shades are so freaking gorgeous and stunning, y'all. So here are all the shades. If you love Space Cowboy, then you're gonna love this palette. It's perfect. Perfect for adding just a hint of sparkle on your eyes. I'm definitely gonna be using this for the upcoming birthday makeup looks I have, but these are also gonna be perfect for the holidays coming up as well, holiday parties, holiday glams. If you like the Space Cowboy eyeshadow glitter, definitely check this baby out. And I don't think I mentioned it, but it is called the Moon Dust Palette, y'all. So next we have a brush, and I normally don't even talk about brushes, y'all, but this one is really good, and it's it's affordable, so I highly recommend this. I got it off of Amazon. This is a Real Techniques brush. It has a wide angled brow on one side and it has a spoolie on the other. It's short but wide, but it's thin in width, which is what I love because I can really pinch it in with my brow pomade and get a really nice defined brow with it. And I think this was like four bucks, y'all. Like, don't quote me on that. It's not more than five dollars. If you don't get anything else from this video, pick you one of these up, okay? So my last beauty favorite is going to be the MAC Fix Plus. I literally don't have any left in here. I probably have another spray or one more makeup application because y'all know I like to bathe in it. But yeah, makeup setting spray is a must for me because it just melts all my makeup, makes it look so good, makes it last all day for me. Like I did my makeup earlier today because I had to go take a new license photo and my makeup still looks good like even on camera with this HD camera and these light my face is still sitting okay I definitely love the MAC makeup setting spray along with all the skincare and beauty products that I shared today that is how my skin has been looking top-notch and that is how my face has been looking bomb if you're interested in checking out any other products that I mentioned in this video they will be linked in the description box down below as well as on my Amazon storefront thank y'all so much for your continued love and support I I truly do appreciate it. If you have not already checked out my latest video, baby, go ahead, make your way to it right now. I know you got more time, so keep watching your girl.